Hey everybody, School Bum Snowflake here. <laughs> On our way to U of M, ready for this two hour drive. I'm ready for the two hour drive, she ain't. No. Yeah, yeah. Empty stomach, we got some monster and coke. That's about it though. Let's do this. Ooh. Michigan Stadium. Go green. Oh, no! Yeah, yeah. The blue! Michigan Stadium, y'all! Mm. This line's right, right there. <laughs> so we made it to the clinic. This ain't the clinic. This is just your test. This is... No, this is the clinic. The test is at three. That is not a clinic. This is a doctor's office, everyone. It's gonna be a no-go. This was for my CRPS and we are sitting at a doctor's office. Okay, so update. We were in the total wrong area. This is where the CRPS clinic is. We think. We're on our way to go find out. To new adventures. Okay, y'all. So, appointment just ended. As you can see, Scuba's back there putting my wheelchair away. <laughs> this appointment was very interesting. Yes, it was. You want to tell them? Uh, this doctor suggested a intervention that we never heard of. So, basically, it's kind of like a spinal cord stimulator um which we have had brought up to us many times can i get a sip of that or is it warm warm it should be the leg <sighs> that is good it would have the same effect as like a spinal cord stimulator except it goes in the limb so it won't affect our chances um of trying to get pregnant trying to conceive um and they can keep it in so i would have that for my leg and i would still be getting my um nerve blocks in my neck as you can still see that i got my wicked bruise for my arm and hand um so he's looking into getting me a doctor and hopefully we will uh get in soon he said that it's still in like the starting phases so i'd probably be like one of their first cases for CRPS is what he was saying. It was a very interesting appointment. So I put it too successful. But we're gonna put it in the success category for now. And we're gonna try and give it a shot. But now we have, it's one o'clock and then we have to wait until three for my EMG. So that's the fun part. <laughs> what are we gonna do till then? <laughs> Probably drive there and get a parking spot and then wait. Okay. Stick with us and keep you updated. Peace. Back in the exam room. Getting ready for the scary test. My EMG, everybody. I think I got a scary looking machine in here. It's gonna do some shocks, it looks like. And um, my hospital bed. So, uh, yeah. Okay, y'all. We're exhausted. It is now almost four o'clock. On our way home. I don't wanna see you again. Yeah, we'll be back. I know I don't wanna see him again, though. Uh, see a hospital. It's real pretty in there. But the tests were not pretty. I got zapped and I got poked with a very long needle and they wiggled and jiggled inside me. Still bleeding. Still bleeding and I can't show my legs cause I got pants on now. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Now we're just going to go back, um, drive back home two hours, um, vibe out, but um, yeah. So the, the EMG came back that everything was normal. 
So that's a good thing, meaning that the nerves themselves aren't fully dying yet. That's the good news. But basically, we just have to now wait for the uh, other doctor um, to get back with us about the uh, little peripheral, peripheral stimulator. Yeah, that. If I was to rate this doctor a visit, I would give it like a 7.5 out of 10. What doctor did you like better? The first uh, one or the second one? I like the first one better because Agreed. he had more insight. Agreed. This one, I kind of... The second one, I'll give him like a five out, of, 5 out of 10. Anything. Like he kept asking the nurse. Yeah, I, I, I would give him a 5 out of 10. Okay, I, I give the action. nurse, the first nurse I had, I'm going to call her Auntie T because she, or Granny T, she was such a grandma. She was so sweet, such a loving person. She helped me, saw that I was into Mickey, you know, was trying to make it all Mickey and all that. And it just was super cute. She was the best. Uh, the doctor himself sucked. He didn't know what he was doing um and kept having to ask his nurses what to do because he didn't know what he was doing and then basically told me i need to go to therapy which is weird as fuck but... i think the first doctor was a success second doctor was not a success i mean i they got us i got a success with Test my results. nerves aren't dying but that was the only good thing that came from that appointment. Yeah, that's about so, it. So, we'll update anyways, you guys um, with any more information when we get, get more. To, get more. But, but yeah, that's going to conclude the vlog, guys. If you guys want to see more real life vlogs, let us know down in the comments. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button if you're new to the channel. Um, let me know in the comments if I should make a separate channel just for you know couples. Us. Um, thank you for tuning in guys Thank you for stopping by Thank you for showing your love and support Be happy Be, uh, be positive Be you And most of all Spread love Until next time guys Peace